Juvenile Recurrent Respiratory Papillomatosis, or JRRP, is a condition of the airway caused by the human papillomavirus, also called HPV. HPV is a virus with many different types. HPV lives inside of the cells in different parts of the body and can cause them to multiply and form growths called papillomas. In JRRP, papillomas occur in the throat on the voice box, which is also close to the opening of the swallowing tube. Both children and adults all over the world may be affected by papillomas in the airway. In children, boys and girls are affected equally. First-born children born by natural birth are most commonly affected by JRRP because the virus can be passed on during delivery. It is important to know that infection with HPV and the development of JRRP is difficult to predict and is not the fault of the child nor the parents. Children can go to school, play in the playground, and eat in the cafeteria with their friends and peers without spreading the disease. In early stages of JRRP, children will experience progressively worsening voice changes as HPV causes growths on the vocal cords. Shortness of breath occurs in later stages of the condition, especially when no treatment has been performed. When these growths start to obstruct the airway and limit flow of air, this is quite dangerous. Some children will develop a loud squeaky breathing noise with inspiration called stridor. Children with these symptoms should be evaluated by a doctor as soon as possible. If JRRP is suspected, the child will need an examination of the throat while asleep under anesthesia. The purpose of this is to confirm the right diagnosis as the first step, determine the extent of the condition, take samples of the papillomas, and open the airway at the same time. Large growths may be cut away, while smaller growths and those in more sensitive areas are safely removed with specialized equipment. Medication may be injected into the growths to help prevent growth or recurrence. However, recurrence is still very common. The child should take the ease of knowing he or she will be sleeping comfortably throughout any of these procedures. The main goal of treatment is to open the airway to improve breathing. Treatment may also cause improvements in voice and swallowing, however this is not guaranteed. Vaccination against HPV is the best and most effective way to prevent children from developing JRRP. Vaccination against HPV is safe and widely used around the world as children from all corners of the globe get diagnosed with JRRP. Remember, juvenile recurrent respiratory papillomatosis is a condition of growths in the airway caused by the human papillomavirus. If you start to notice any of the signs of JRRP in a child, such as changes in voice or breathing, please have them seen by a doctor as soon as possible. Together, we can improve the lives of children all over the world by detecting and treating JRRP. Ha <laughs> ha